The unemployment rate in Missouri is at the lowest percentage ever recorded. News Press Now's Zoe Jones tells us more. The Department of Higher Education and Workforce Development released the July 2022 monthly jobs report for the state of Missouri. The preliminary July unemployment rate in Missouri is 2.5%, being the lowest recorded seasonally adjusted rate since the data series began in 1976. The previous lowest rate recorded in the state was June 2022 with a rate of 2.8%, but St. Joseph was even lower than that. In June, the projected rate for St. Joseph was 2.2% unemployment. So, and that means about 1,300 people unemployed. And on our jobs board alone, there's 680 open jobs in St. Joseph. Um, so that's a lot of jobs. That's basically, because we know not every job that's open in St. Joe is on our jobs board. So basically, there's probably about as many jobs open as there are people unemployed. So there's, that's really an indicator that if you want a job, you can get one in right. St. Joe. Hiring agencies in town have been hard at work for quite some time to help people get jobs and bring the unemployment numbers down. Really the challenge for us was finding people that, that wanted to get back to work. You know, there was a lot of that. I don't know if people got complacent you know, for not working so long or working remotely uh, during the pandemic. But we've seen it improve since, since you know, the uh, pandemic's not so much of a scare anymore. Another struggle is not only getting people to show up, but to also stay longer than a few days. Probably right now, what we're trying to do is get more permanent positions where they work through us to get a good look at the person, make sure that it's going to be a good fit for both they've got the skills to do the job and the culture. Many people say that it's important to keep people employed and companies full so that our community can continue to see growth. If companies don't have people to fill their jobs, they're going to go to cities that can fill their jobs. So it's very important to our city if we want to keep all of our companies working, employing people, um, that we help them fill their gaps. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Zoe Jones.